Hello everybody, this is me, Super Morning Jail, and welcome to another episode of eBay Finds. And in this episode, I'm, I'm going to be looking at uh, a couple of Mario Kart 8 backpack buddies. Um, I am going to be a little bit clever with the title. Uh, as you can see, it's called Mario Kart 8 Backpack Buddies. Um, not, not only because it's based off of Mario Kart 8, but I, also I have eight of the keychains, or backpack buddies as they call it. Um, so yeah. So it, again, it, you could see it as Mario Kart 8, the game, Backpack Buddies, or Mario Kart the franchise eight backpack buddies, so yeah, <laughs> saves me saves me some uh, space on the title. Um, but yeah, so I have a characters from Gotamoy to Bowser, and uh, yeah, I found this on e I found this listing on eBay for all for all eight of them for fifty two dollars and something cents. Um, and when you divide it by eight, uh, you get like. Six dollars and fifty cents to maybe seven bucks, um, so pretty close to retail. I don't know how it actually is at a retail store in terms of how much these these guys cost. Um, I'm gonna I'm going to assume seven to ten bucks. Um, so yeah, so I definitely did pay. I either saved some money or I paid for a good retail price for non, especially for for getting non -du duplicates too. Um, so yeah, so without further ado, let's just jump on in. Now, I'm going to save this guy for last, so I'm going to go from right to left. Uh, I don't, I don't want to say least favorite, but the ones I, I'm happy to have, but I, I don't care about, to the ones that I am happy and I do care about having. Um, yeah, so I, I just, I just that, that, that's how I'm going to say it. So anyways, let's, let's start off with Bowser. And I, so I should know, these do come in blind bags, so yeah, again, I do save some money not buying blind bags is my gosh so anyways back to bowser here was bowser now it sucks because i don't have another bowser uh mario Kart toy to compare them to i really should get one um they do have them at the hut in the hot wheel set right i'm pretty sure they do they have to there's no way uh but yeah you can see bowser you know his face uh, I, I, I'll say it's detailed, but not very, not, it's not detailed all the way, you know, like, you do have, like, some, some places where the, they didn't really bother coloring too much, um, or trying, what am I even saying, they just didn't, they, they tried, but they didn't give it the all, I will say, um, I will say this, though, um, the paint job is good, uh, I'm not really seeing any, like, little paint, marks um or whatever that makes the color look bad there you can see the bowser logo again again there's bowser's face you can see his arms his legs and this is called pretty cool i what i do like him though is that the tiles they do move so if you don't if you don't want to have them as keychains you can have them as you know you can push them and whatnot so yeah so there's the back, his little, his little like walkie boosters or whatever. There's the bottom, and there he is at, right at the top. And here was the keychain. Now I will say I'm not a huge fan of how the keychain is set up um, because when you hang them, they're hanging like this. So you're gonna have to like, you know, use your hand to see the character itself. When I think it should have been at the top of them, like at the top of their head or um, shell or whatever. Uh, I'll try to figure out some way to, to make it to the keychains on the top of them. So that way when you're hanging them or dangling them on your backpack or whatever, they actually look like this and not this. But um, yeah, maybe that was a reason why they did it like that. Um, so yeah, so Bowser, pretty simple. Pretty, I like it. Um, again, very happy to have it. I just... I don't really care too much for Bowser, you know? Next up here we have is Wario. And here he is. And again, I will say these are painted good. Oh, yeah, paint, painted good slash great. It's really just based on how, whatever, on the condition that you get. Because I know sometimes the paint job on these blind bag things can be a little bit hit or, hit or miss. So, yeah. So again, so there's Warrior's face, 
the eyes aren't really that detailed. It's just two black dots. Whereas Wario's eyes, they, they think they do have something on the pupils. And I think they have some, like some blue line on the on the outside of the eyes. Um, but yeah. You can see Wally, Wally's little emblem, same on the on the front of the car. And his color, color scheme is yellow and purple. Obviously to match his yellow uh, clothing and purple overalls. You can, see, you can see his little shoes. And uh, yeah, there's the bottom. Here he is looking dangling, if he were to actually dangle them. <laughs> And uh, yeah, and I also, again, I don't have a Hot Wheels toy to compare them to. I'm pretty sure I do have a Hot Wheels Warrior and Bowser. I think I think I just have them in storage. Because I could have shown I got a, a couple of Warrior and Bowsers from the Mario Kart Hot Wheels line from Mattel. So yeah, anyways, that's it for Warrior. Moving on to Yoshi. Now, I do have a Yoshi car that I will uh, compare this one to. So here we have Yoshi. The and obviously it's gonna be the green variant, which is the main color for Yoshi. You can see the color is light green and light blue. Um, I wonder why it's not orange to to represent the shoes. That that is kind of I am kind of curious about that. Uh, you can see Yoshi's emblem, and there's Yoshi himself. A pretty simple character to paint, so I'm not really seeing any like bad paint jobs on him, which is nice. There's the back of him, and then there's the bottom. And so now comparing him to the uh, the Hot Wheels. Now this is not green Yoshi; it is red Yoshi. But um, yeah. Now I think this is this is smaller than the the, the than the backpack buddy. Yoshi, um, yeah, I would say it's a little bit smaller, but for how small it is, they actually, I would say Mattel, they did a good job on it, um, there you can see the emblem, and honestly, I can't really tell which one is better, so you have to decide for yourself, I think in terms of, like, just how it looks, I think Mattel wins. Especially with the tiles, too. Um, the tiles are just simple. Um, and, I, and I do think for a die-cast vehicle versus a backpack buddy or keychain, I think Mattel did put in the extra work or extra polish in the in the toys versus uh, the company who makes the backpack buddies. But, um, again, they're still, they're still good, I will say. It just sucks that you have to get them in blind bags, though, you know? Whereas with uh, Hot Wheels, you don't, you don't have to buy blind bags and whatnot. Uh, you, you can just buy them in the, in the packaging and get what you want to get. Next up here we have is Toad. So here is Toad. Pretty simple. Pretty <laughs> pretty small. Dude. Like he, he can't... His head is... Oh, his eyes are literally at the, um, the driver's seat. And I will say, it's funny seeing Toad scoot... All the way up front from the um, the the, the car seat. Now I don't have a toad um, Mario Kart. I do have this toad, so I would compare him to that one. But I don't know for sure if the Mattel has him screwed it all the way up, or if they did sort of try to make it in a way that he is sitting up all the way to the back of the seat. I I should say they changed the car itself in a way. So that way it fits Toad 100% rather than <laughs> this one. I will say it is funny though. It is super, super funny. So there you can see a little bit of Toad painted real nicely. Especially for, you know, how small he is. Uh, there's Toad's emblem. The color scheme for his card is blue, dark blue, and I guess, but mainly just blue to yellow. And, uh, yeah. And I might as well show you a closer look at the keychain itself. If it can even... There we go. There we go. You can see. There's a nice little stall. 
Oh, you can see it says Mario Kart 8. Pretty cool. I like that a lot. And uh, yeah, and so let's just compare them to the, the, the Mario movie Toad. So there we go. Again, with Mattel, they actually made it to where he is sitting at his seat is really at his back. Whereas with, I think this company is called Power Donna. I, I, I will have the company's name in the, in the description. Um, but whoever made this, they did have him set it, all, set it all the way up on the edge of the tall seat, which again is still funny. And, uh, yeah. Alright, next up we have here is Princess Peach. Now, I do have an actual, uh, Princess Peach from Mattel to, to look at. So, yeah, we're gonna do that. So, here she is. You can see her face. There's the emblem. There's a nice little close-up of, of Peach. There you can see the ponytail, the crown. Oh, come on. I will say, comparing it to the Mattel one, I can already tell that the crown is not painted completely. Um, those little dots you see at the top of the crown, they're not painted. Um, so yeah, so that'll be interesting to look at. So there she is. Her color, color, her color scheme is for the card is pink and yellow, once again. There's the back of her. And so let's just compare it to this Princess Peach. I will say the eyes for, for this pit for this peach looks a little bit weird in a way. I don't know why. Also wow, this this looks weird. Her dress you can actually see like her legs go down, but this one it just looks like it's just like it's literally just resting. It's not like how 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 do I say it? The the knees aren't bending. There we go. Whereas this peach, the knees are bending to you know to show that there was that the legs are going to the gas pedal and whatnot. So yeah, so that is a little bit weird. <laughs> I will say. There's a bat. And uh, yeah. And I'm just I'm just saying I think the I think the Mattel peach is better. So yeah. But still nice. Next up here we have is Luigi. Now I also do have a Luigi to look at. So yeah, I, I would compare it to that. There you can see his eyes. He does look a little bit weird, I will say. Um The eyes look a little bit too big. <laughs> if, I, if that makes any sense. Just comparing it to like this Luigi, it seems like they did based off of Luigi's model. I will say this one looks like Luigi's Mansion, Luigi, the GameCube one, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah. So there you can see his body, you know, his legs, his boots. Uh, there's the L emblem. Uh, and obviously his color scheme for the card is green with dark blue. There's the back of him. There's a side. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Luigi. Very cool. Again, the eyes are a little bit bizarre, I will say. Look at that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, again, painted very good. Um, you can obviously see like the brown heel is not painted all the way. There was a little bit of that skin color going into the heel. But eh, that, that's fine by me. So comparing it to this Luigi, here you go. Obviously, it's completely two different strokes for Luigi. But I will say, I do I, I am confident that this Luigi is better in terms of how it looks. And I am going to compare it to the Jack Pacific Luigi. Now, this is Luigi in a different color. And I should say, that was the same for Mattel, too, so... I should clarify that as well. And, uh, yeah. So there we have Luigi for you. And, of course, he's not... 
Sally, he's not doing his death stare, which I would have appreciated. Now, on to Mario. Now, I do have a few Mario Kart toys to compare this one to. So, uh, yeah. So, here's Mario. And I will say, I am noticing that the M is a little bit offside. So, that, that, it doesn't bother me, but that is something to note. So, that's his face. Uh, <laughs> that's his face. I should, uh, I can't talk. Let's put, let's put it adorable, I will say. You can see the M emblem. And obviously for the color card, uh, for the color scheme for his card, it is red and blue. So, so there's Mario's face again. I will say, I don't... There seems to be a little bit of a mist paint job here. So that kind of sucks. Uh, but when you face it, but when you're looking at it like this, you can't really see it at all. So, uh, yeah. So there he is, you can see his whole body. There we go. There's the other side. And so let's compare him to the Mattel Mario Kart. Now, again, I would say the the backpack buddies are a little bit bigger, I will say. Um, and they do accomplish the look of the Mario characters. But I, I think Mattel just did a fantastic job with those, so... I will say, uh, you can see like the the rubble on the tiles, whereas with Mattel, they're just they're, they're sort of just painted black and you can't really see the rubble. So I, I do appreciate this detail though. Um, you get it, you get it on some Mario Kart toys and you also don't get it on, you don't get it on others. So yeah. Next up, I am, I am going to compare them to the, this one. I believe it's the Hot Wing Rider. Um. It's been a long time since I played Wii, and so I don't I'm, I don't remember this card too much. Uh, here is the Jack Pacific uh, Mario from Mario Kart Seven. And then last up, we are going to compare them to is the Mario Kart Movie or Mario Movie, Movie Mario. If you want to, if let, if we're just being specific. And, uh, yeah, that is Mario for you. And last but not least, the one that I was very excited for because this is the real character in the set, or in the blind bag, and that is Gold Mario. Now, I am very excited because Gold Mario doesn't really get a lot of much, I will say, similar to Metal Mario. So, anytime I see Gold Mario getting any sort of merchandise, I am very happy. Um, you know, you have the, the Gold Mario Amiibo, the Gold Mario figure from Jet Specific, um, the 4 inch as well as the 2.5 inch, aka the Trophy series, Gold, Gold Mario. Um, and then you, you do have them in pins, pin and pin form as well. So you have um, a Gold Mario pin, a Gold, a Gold Mario card pin as well. So yeah. So there you can see he's painted all gold. Not again, not actual gold, just painted. So you know, don't think this is like 24 karat gold or whatever. Oh, it's a big deal because it's really not. Again, it's just painted gold. <laughs> um, there you can see the M emblem. And what's interesting is that you can see the eyes. Now, you can't really see it on camera. if, But um, you would have to get this guy physically. You would have to get this guy in your hands to see it. But to me, I can see the eyeballs. A little bit of the eyeballs at the top. Come on, focus. There we go. So yeah, so his M is painted. You can see the eyes. But uh, yeah, and again, the body, the even the Rocky Booster is painted gold. So this one actually is sort of like the, the gold card. It, it really is the gold card in the game as well as the gold tiles. So I do appreciate that. They didn't just like put gold Mario on a, uh, on a red base, like, Mario over here, they did put him in the actual gold card combo too, so that is nice. And it should, it, I should not have to say this, but I am. This is my favorite one out of this, out of all eight. I should say, I should say all nine because I am missing Donkey Kong. Uh, I feel like I said that, but I am missing Donkey Kong. So yeah, I do have to pick him up soon. Uh, I do have to pick him up eventually, and I'll have the whole set. Um. 
I say that, maybe if I do find blind bags of this set, I probably will buy them and do like a nice little like video series on trying to get, get DK. So uh, yeah, maybe that'll happen. But for now, I'm just I'm just gonna wait to see a cheap listing on eBay for DK because I'm not gonna spend a bunch of money for one character, you know. Uh, so yeah. So with that, that's basically it. Now I I would compare them to like Mario, but yeah, it's gold Mario, you know. Um. Also, I will say that there is a gold Mario toy from Hot Wheels. It just sucks because that's a San Diego, that's a San Diego Comic Con exclusive that came out like in 2019. It has Gold in a with the Glido as well as the the, the Gold Card and the Gold Wheels. Um, and what sucks is that that one actually was like in a blind box. Uh, yeah, I should say blind box because that's how you got Metal Mario was in a box. But in some boxes there was Gold Mario at San Diego Comic Con, so that. Excuse me, I have to bump there. I, so I do hope that Mattel does re-release Metal Mario and Gold, Gold Mario. Uh, because I understand those characters are like, quote-unquote, unique or special. But um, I don't think they should be, like, super real when it comes to toys. You know, like, like come on, just, just make them, just make actual toys. Same thing for Pink Gold Peach, too, because they Mattel did release, like, a Pink Gold Peach box. But they didn't re-release so in, like... For uh to find at retail stores, so I do hope Mattel does that. But either way, uh, for fifty two bucks or six dollars and fifty cents to seven bucks each for all eight for each eight, for each of them, I would say this was a pretty good deal. I would say Gold, Gold Mario would probably cost you around like twenty to twenty to thirty bucks. Definitely don't try to spend that much. I understand. Uh, I understand that you know these are blind boxes, so it's it's better to buy to buy them online. But I would not spend so much money for the Gold variant. I just wouldn't show it's real show it's the real one um but come on <laughs> i just i just wouldn't do that um but yeah but again this is a very cool set i'm very happy to have them i'm just missing dk and i'll be complete with the set um and yeah and that's about it so let me know what you guys thought in, in the comments below do you love them do you hate them uh, do you have some of these yourselves or do you have the whole set let me know in the comments below and uh yeah so that's it. So that's gonna be it for me. This is Superman19J signing out. I will see you all in the next video.